the Eiffel Tower, Charles de Gaulle, train strikes. This is Paris and it's Intermat 2018. Lily, what are you hoping to do here today? I'd like to buy a cooler crane. Well, there's not too many models of cooler cranes made. No, a real one. You'll never get it on the plane. You're so negative! The Intermat show is smaller than Bauma. It's smaller than Con Expo. But it is bigger than nothing. It's held every three years and in this report we'll take a quick look round and see what's what. One of the bigger exhibitors at the show was Liebherr and they had a painted up version of the Liebherr LTM 1450 mobile crane on show. This is proving to be a popular crane and hopefully a model will follow. But if one does come we'll have high expectations because we'll expect to see Liebherr even on the wheel nuts. Also on display was this giant concrete mixer. But Cranes Etc is also thinking of buying one of these and using it as a test for robustness of scale models. Shows like this are all about making sales and it was sad to see some of the exhibitors so frustrated at the lack of sales that they were smashing up their own exhibits. Volvo had an outdoor demonstration area and they had various trucks going round and round in circles. And in fact that's how you often feel when you walk around these big exhibitions, you're going round and round in circles. Like many others, Volvo were also demonstrating an all-electric machine, but maybe its capacity is limited because it only seems to be able to excavate air. Back to Lieb here and they were showing the massive 1000 ECH tower crane. And this is a heavy lifter as you can see from the size of the hook. And if you're really really tough you can spin that hook around. This is a big crane but there was a taller one on display at the Liebherr stand. And somehow I don't know if this 1000 ECH will ever catch on. It's just too low, it needs to be much higher, anybody can see that. Among the models on display was this Lego type truck mixer. And I guess that's supposed to be a batching plant above it. There was also a tower crane model undergoing some maintenance, but it might have been better off going to the scrapyard. There were not many really new and interesting models on show, but Kobelco had the big SK500 excavator on show, and the newly released model of it was also on display. This model is made by Conrad, and it looks to be typical high quality. In fact, Conrad had the best of the new releases at the show. They had three new Mechalac models. And so if you like these machines, it's now possible to have quite a collection of them. Moving on, one thing that Intermat does have is some demonstration areas where machines are working. And you can stand around watching concrete being crushed and then sprayed with water. And if it wasn't crushing concrete, this machine was another one that was also showing off, working with air. But some machines were being used to actually build things. And here we see an operator carefully placing logs. Now no one's quite sure what he's building or why. But at least what we are seeing is some pretty skilled operating of the machine. And just to demonstrate that, here's the entirely pointless activity of putting a steel pipe on top of a log. You can certainly go home knowing you've done a good job if you can do something like this. Or perhaps you'd prefer to use a loader crane for something even more pointless. You can use it to swing a load about wildly and then show your absolute skill at sticking it into an oil drum. This is demonstrating all the essential skills that a loader crane operator needs and it also shows you're not going to be messed around with. In another part of Intermat was a sealed enclosure enclosing bobcats. It was disgraceful to see them kept like this, unable to enjoy their normal freedom. It's just so sad to see them frustrated. In fact, so frustrated that they were being driven to seek freedom by trying to tunnel out underneath the fence. It can only be hoped that the abuse of bobcats in this way will not be tolerated at future exhibitions. Getting back to models and here is a professional display inside a merchandise shop. 
And here we see a new model being tested by a member of the Cranes Etc team. Yes, that shows all the professional skill we've come to expect from Cranes Etc. Elsewhere there was a demonstration of a new range of one-to-one -one micro excavators. This is a new innovation and the idea is that you can have up to a hundred of them working in a place with very low headroom. After going round in more circles we find ourselves back at the Lieb hair stand and there's the new 509 wheel loader on display. Once again we find that this is translated in another new model by Conrad and they certainly had a good Intermat exhibition. Over at the Tadano stand there was this large scale model of a crane but they're using plastic pulleys which seems very unrealistic. But if you want really high quality you've got to go for a model like this. Just look at how the crawler tracks are modelled with caster wheels on the bottom. It looks like plonker models have made a comeback. Some of the machines you see are just weird and you wonder, well why have they made that? And this rotating concrete mixer with a blade at the front falls into that category. Probably the CAD files got corrupted on the computer and this is what came out the factory. It's nice to have some soothing music to help sell an earth moving machine. Among the other things on display was this survey instrument, but it seems totally impractical because you can never move your head fast enough to be able to look through it. Back to scale models and among the few new ones on display was this BOMAG roller. And one of the things being celebrated at the show was the 90th anniversary of Potan tower cranes. And there was this spectacular cake, but the rendition of Happy Birthday to You seemed a little bit off key. Overall Intermat 2018 seemed a little bit quiet in terms of numbers of visitors and some of the big names such as Caterpillar and Terex were not present. But next year is 2019 and that's a Bauma exhibition year and that promises to be much more interesting. Mm -hmm.